Okay, Michael, Donavon home here on Friday night. Obviously, a club you know very well, but firstly, I suppose they're in a good run. The, the four wins in a row obviously weren't and not such a good run. Um, I mean, you know, what does it take uh, to, to go and get a positive result here on Friday night? Um, it's going to be hard, you know, since the, the new manager came in. I think they lost the first one or two, but the last four they've picked up 12 points in the league. Um, so they're, on a, they're going to be confident getting to it. We're where the other side of the spectrum, where we've lost the last six league games. Um, so we're, we're at the bottom end. Um, but listen, we have every confidence in the boys. Um, say we spoke on Tuesday, on Monday there after training about the, the game on Saturday. So that's put to bed. So tonight we'll go out and we'll, we'll work on what we want to do to try and beat Glen Avenue on Friday. What's the, what has the mood been like sort of in the camp? Because obviously, you know, the previous three performances against Lauren, Linfield and Cliftonville, albeit while there were three defeats, there was a lot of positives to take from those. Saturday was probably a different a different kettle of fish where, you know, half an hour into the game is probably gone, it's probably out of our reach. I mean, how the boys were reacting to that even on Monday and even coming in the night and just you know around the place, I suppose? Yeah, no, they're all down, you know, after the game on Saturday. Um, they're an honest bunch, bunch of lads. We could see afterwards they were hurting. Um, it was the poorest performance this year so far, you know, you locked the lock all the first first game of the season. We had spells in that game we locked okay. But I think from the first minute to the ninetieth, we didn't we didn't get going. Um, we give them as a foothold in the game. They started off well. I've always said here, make sure we get the first five, ten minutes, we we, we control it, um, and build ourselves into the game. And we've done the opposite on Saturday. You know, we let them dictate how they played, but didn't press them. The gaps were too big between the defence and the forwards, and they just played around it. And they locked a good team on on Saturday. We made them. Um, but you know, on Tuesday, we had we chat about it again. Went, went through a few patterns off in possession because I thought at times on Saturday we looked nervous. We didn't want to play football. Um, we, we never tell the boys that we want them to play football. But listen, when you're when you're low in confidence, you've lost five, six on the bounce. You're going to be low in confidence, and I've always said football is a confidence game. When you're winning, you know, as a centre back, you'll take it down, you'll pass it out. If you're losing, you'll just try and kick it as far as you can. Midfielders as well, you know, they won't want to get on the ball, they want to just hook everything forward and when they're low in confidence. So I think the biggest thing for us is picking the boys up after Saturday, after a performance and a result like that, and just try and make train a bit fun as well this week and, and get them ready for a big game Friday night. Going back to Glenavon, um, as you touched on there, since Steve McDonald's come in, they've, they've been on a really good run of late. Um, still a lot of players there from, from when you were there last year. I mean, you know, it's a club you know very well, obviously. I mean, from what you've seen in them yeah. before and after Stephen's come in, what's your sort of take on, on, on how they play and how you have been playing? No, it's a big, I always knew, you know, I was there for three years. Um, if you look at that squad on paper, they, they should never have been where they were at the start of the season. Um, they've got it's, it's a new thing I've had in clubs as well when a new manager comes in you get that new manager effect where you, you go on a good run um, but I always knew that they, they would hit a good, fo- good bit of form this year um, under the manager no, he, he likes to play football the players they've got there all like to play football and it's shown, shown difference now that they're, they're getting the rewards for it probably something to ask you ever met interview each week about the supporters and how important the supporters are and obviously you know probably unhappy after Saturday and probably have, a, have, have yeah. a legitimate reasons to be but you know they've already seen sort of posts on social media about you know sort of trying to get, get as many fans down here on Friday night how important can they be just in terms of turning the corner maybe not necessarily straight away on Friday night but over the course of the remainder of the season <laughs> everyone always says I've said it myself when you've got the the fans are behind you. It is a 12th man. It gives you that bit of bit extra on the pitch. Um, but if you look at our record at home the last year, I didn't, I didn't know this till the other week. I haven't won a game at home all year. You know, so if, I, if I'm a home fan coming down and not seeing the lads go out and win, it, it's gonna you're gonna get a bit out in the in the camp. Um, but sure, the, the, the fans that come down this year have seen the, the boys do put the effort in. You know, it's just I've always said it's, it's two boxes which win the news game. We're not scoring enough, and we're not getting out of the Orient. So we need to work on that, and we we'll have been working on it. Um, but yeah, no, we need to get the fans down here and, and give us a big push to get that win. And just how important could it be even getting a positive result? Um, we well, obviously at home this season. You touched on with one draw against Dungannon. The only point we've picked up. I mean. Just in terms of the psychological effect, if you can turn out and get a win on Friday night, um, you know, how big a sort of monkey off the back can that be, I suppose? Yeah, it's, it's massive. It's massive. Usually any team, it's a home form that either if you're going for the title, it's a home form that gets you there, or else if you're trying to stay in the league, it's a home form. So this year it's different for us. It's the away form that's sort of giving us the points. Um, I don't know. It's, I've, tried, I've tried to think of every sort of reason why we can't get the, the wins or a result at, at home. Um, it must be a psychological thing. It has to be. Um, 
So, I, I really, it's, it's a hard question to answer. Um, there could be many factors behind it, but we're trying to find the main factor of what can get us that result on a, at, at, at home. We just asked the confident that it's going to turn and hopefully that's going to start on Friday night. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's as I said before, they're, they're an honest bunch of lads. They'll, they'll give everything to have. Obviously, Saturday was wasn't one of them. That's the only time this season I can sort of think of. Um, but yeah, we're working hard as coaching staff. The boys are working hard. Everyone around here is working hard to try and get us up the table. You know, it's it's tight this year. The bottom three. You know, you would have had Carrick and Glen four three four weeks ago, but they have had a few wins. So two or three wins in, in the bounce can push you right up as Glen Avenue showing.